Hi friends, in this video we are discussing about deferred expenses in Odoo 13 accounting. So, the deferred expense means the advance payment of a company and we will see how to manage the deferred expenses in Odoo 13 accounting. So, let's go ahead with accounting module. Here in configuration we can see deferred expense models. Let's create new deferred expense model. Add any model name here. So And we can see here the number of recognition is a 5 this is the duration of this deferred expense and then here we can see the two parameters years and month and then here we can see the deferred expense account and create new deferred expense account enter any code here and add any name and select the type here we can see the automate deferred expense we select it as now and then save it and then select the expense account here and select the journal also and then save it after that in configuration go to chart of account and then here we can see the deferred expense model we are created so just search for it and here is the deferred expense that we are created and then click the edit button and change the option of automate deferred expense to create and validate and then we can see the option for entering the deferred expense model here so just enter the model that we are created and then save it after that go to vendors and in products create new product as rent product or anything else and then the type will be service And then the sales price, we can set the sales price here. And then save it. After that in accounting, here we can set a new invoice. So just create new invoice, select any customer. We can create new customer also. And then add the product that we created before. 
and then the price is here and just post the invoice after that in accounting go to deferred expenses sorry here actually we forgot to we forgot to add the income accounting so in our invoice sorry in our product that we are created we have to add the income account as our deferred expense account and then save it and then create new invoice add the product and also add the customer and then post it after that check the deferred expenses in accounting here we can see the deferred expense that we are created and then we can see the expense board here has five different periods so the total price of the product that we are created is divided into five terms this is the main functionality of deferred expenses in order 13 accounting get more details and support